Japan is a nation that has influenced the world in so many ways, be it their food, their technology, or their contributions to popular culture, like video games. For many of us, the music of video games played more in our households growing up than any other form of music at the time. Yet for most of us, the composers behind these timeless melodies remain faceless. Digging in the Carts is about unearthing the men and women who inspired an entire generation while arguably creating Japan's biggest musical export to the world. から ファンタジーですね。ファンタジーの世界で楽しめるロールプレイングゲームです。What a crazy, crazy franchise. What a beautiful RPG world that they created. Not quite the final one yet, but uh, you know, it, it, it's the most fun I've had in playing a video game was playing Final Fantasy VII. And the music though, the music was just... Nobuo Matsu is the game music guy. Final Fantasy VII, that soundtrack is like the quintessential music is great in games. It's still like the go-to yeah. for being like, yeah, this is art, like this is like, video game music can be beautiful. です。5歳の頃ですかね。音楽の仕事をしたかったんですけど、なかなかそんなコネクションも実力も経験もない人間に作曲の仕事なんかもらえるほど世の中甘くなくて、僕の家ってま、狭い部屋なんですけど、毎晩
でもそこでガーって<笑>作ったのを覚えてますねそんな曲が「ファイナルファンタジー」シリーズでずっと使われるとは夢にも思わなかった。<笑>昔のファミコンの音源ですとかスーパーファミコンの音源の時は音数が少なくて音楽を制作するの大変だったでしょうって言われるんですけど僕ねね意外ととそんんな感じたことないんですよ、ね、人間ってね多分あの制限されればされるほど何とかしようってこう工夫を始めるもので僕はその3音でどうやったらロックの曲ができるのかどうやったらクラシックっぽい音楽ができるのかっていうのを逆に楽しんでたかもしれないそれが自分にとってのゲームのような感じでしたね例えば一つの音一つのメロディーを鳴らすんですけど一つはちゃんとした周波数で鳴らしててもう一つ同じメロディーを鳴らすんですねでもそれは周波数をちょっとずらしてで音の出方のタイミングもちょっとずらすんですよそうするとただの電子音なのにななんかこう揺らめき揺らぎが生まれてあの表情豊かな音になるんですよねそういうのをこう来る日も来る日もこう一人でいろいろ試してやってましたね。からスーパーファミコンへの変わった時っていうのは一番大きかったのはそれまでの電子音音3音からサンンンプリング音8音になったんですねー例えばフルートの音をサンプリングできるしバイオリンの音もできるし。エレキベースもエレキギターもできるようになったんですけどファミコンの時の音楽が白黒テレビの映像だとしたらスーパーファミコンの音楽はカラーテレビになったぐらいの違いはあったような気がしますが初めてオーケストラで演奏されたのは多分「ファイナルファンタジー」の1と2が終わった後のすごい嬉しかったけど怖かったですね僕は音楽の教育もまともに受けてないしいまだに譜面とか読むの苦手なんですよ書くのも読むのも苦手な人間がもう3歳とか4歳の頃からずっと音楽を勉強してる780人の人に取り囲まれてるわけですよね。I'm Arnie Roth. I'm music director and conductor of Distant Worlds Music from Final Fantasy. Distant Worlds is dedicated to presenting the music of Final Fantasy as close to the way as it was originally heard in the game as possible. アニロスさんっていう人はディスタントワールドのコンダクト指揮をやってくださってる方で僕はオーケストラとかクラシックに対するコンプレックスがあってすごい真面目な堅苦しい人なんだろうなっていう気持ちだったんですけど実際にお会いしてみるとものすごくフランクで柔らかくて楽しくて酒飲みで。He and I are a product of many of the same musical influences. So we constantly are talking back and forth about these things. I'll never forget the first year I was doing some of the Dear Friends concerts and he came out to one of them. We were riding in the car to him after a rehearsal and I said, you know, Nobu-san, it's very funny. Every time I'm working on One Winged Angel with an orchestra, I hear Jimi Hendrix's Purple Haze. And he says, that's what I was thinking of when I wrote this. <laughs> Overwhelmingly, the concert feels 
like a, a beautiful family gathering of everyone single-mindedly loves Final Fantasy music and wants to be there for that reason. So it's very embracing of Nobusan sitting in the audience with us. There's a lot of electricity right from the beginning. There are some themes that go back to the Chocobo theme or, you know, some of these very early themes that are still in use today, maybe 50 or 100 variations later. But we see the same fanatical response to those themes. Some of the things that he attempted were outrageously difficult back then to do with this computer chip. A little 8-bit character, how do you inject emotion and fear and drama, you know, into it? And he was able to do it with the music. And that it can translate that well into full orchestration is also a testament to the way he wrote, melody and structure first. My name is uh, Thomas Böcker. I'm a producer of uh, video game music concerts since 11 years now. The idea behind Final Symphony is presenting the music of Final Fantasy in a very, let's say, classical way. What we are doing is retelling the stories of the games with the music. 2003, it was the first video game music concert performed outside of Japan. It was my very first concert which I produced and we got uh, Nobuo Uematsu to attend this concert. So this was his first time that he went outside of Japan to attend a concert with his music performed by an orchestra. He was, I think, quite amazed to see that an European orchestra was performing his music and there were many fans also asking for autographs. Final Fantasy Square, Symphony consists of uh, three pieces, basically. There's the symphonic po poem based on Final Fantasy VI, and then a piano concerto based on the themes from Final Fantasy X, and finally, Yone's magnificent symphony based on the music from Final Fantasy VII. One of the greatest things with these concerts is just this, um, that all the audience, they really have this very strong emotional connection to the music. And I know with myself also, I've been playing games as a kid, and not only does it bring back memories of the games, but like from that whole era of my life. I hear quite often from Japanese composers that they never could expect that they are so famous and well-known outside of Japan. They are telling me that they were just sitting in their small rooms, working uh, under a very tight deadline to finish this work, and they, and they always thought like maybe a few people would listen to it. And then out of a sudden, they are like sitting in a concert hall with 2,000 people uh, cheering when only his name is mentioned.
あの「ファイナルファンタジー」の二十数年間って僕を育ててくれたんですよだからゲーム音楽って自分の母校みたいなもんですよね昔通ってた学校育ててくれた学校みたいなもんなんで自分が好む好まざるとにか変わらずもう一生ついて回るんじゃないでしょうかね僕にそういう運命的なもんだと思いますね。